Computer security tips. How to properly wipe your hard drive or do a factory reset. Given the current craziness around identity theft and data privacy, you should wipe your hard drive whenever you want to throw away, donate, or recycle your old computer gear. You may say, oh well, this PC doesn't hold much stuff. But in reality, your old device is a treasure trove of accumulated personal information that could make you vulnerable. From your past emails and browser history to your medical records and login data for your bank and credit card accounts. Follow these tips to make sure you are actually wiping your hard drive clean. Welcome back folks to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous today. If you are doing as fantastic as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or or do a factory reset. But quickly, let me give a shout out to some of our most loyal fans. I have Taylor Evans from Westport, Connecticut, Kira Murphy, Richport, Connecticut, New Haven, Connecticut, Taylor, Kira, and Kira from Connecticut, we love you, thank you so much. Now, first up, organize your hard drive data before you even think about wiping the hard drive. Please organize the hard drive data into folders, subfolders. You want to you want to categorize data by dates, for instance, right? Content type source whatever it is make sure that the categorization process works for you number two back up your hard drive data before you wipe the, your computer hard drive or do a factory reset you want to back up all the info right to a new computer you can do so through the cloud right this could be a web service you can back up your existing info to a new computer or you can do so to an external hard drive I mean, right now we have uh, hard drives that can can hold up to one terabyte, you know, so that's a lot, or three terabytes or five terabytes. So, you know, if you back up your data regularly, that's great, right? It, it's a, it's a great way to keep your data safe, right? Because because hard drive can get you know you can get hacked, right? So the hard drive can crash, can get stolen, can get lost can get encrypted by a ransomware software actually you have a lot of hackers out there that use ransomware software to encrypt the data so you can't really access it so the best defense here is to make sure all the info is backed up safely and frequently you can back you can back up your data on thumb drives or usb flash drives right again the the only the only disadvantage here is that those devices are small they cannot hold a lot they are small storage devices you know so if you use videos or you have a lot of data a lot of heavy data it's better to have external hard drives all right you can also transfer as i said earlier your data to another laptop or pc now recently in the last five years we have a cloud providers Amazon, AWS, you have Alibaba, you have Microsoft, you have Google with Google Drives. They allow you to save stuff, right? So you can basically, all you gotta do is just, just to create an account with Google, or you have a Gmail account, or you have a, a Hotmail account, or you have a, an Amazon Cloud Services account. And then what you do is that you, you complete the initial setup and then they enable you to store your data to the cloud and the cloud really is not <laughs> what happens before uh, before rain to where rain drops <laughs> the cloud is usually a network of remote servers now there's no physical location for the backup data so the the risk of it getting stolen or destroyed by things like floods or fires it, is mitigated all right and the good thing here is that anything stored on the cloud is encrypted which makes it very complicated for cyber crim criminals to steal or access your info in the first place, right? So, you know, think of data backup as a good tool in cyber hygiene. Think of it as something you just, you know, just something you, you got to do regularly as brushing your teeth or taking a shower. This keeps the data fresh. It keeps the data protected. It keeps the data um, uh, hard you know, difficult to access for the unauthorized eyes. Now, one thing I also want to mention here is that 
simply deleting your files from your computer is not enough. A lot of folks think, you know, I'm just going to delete this, put it into the trash bin, and I'm fine. No, it doesn't. Because when you delete a file from your computer, the actions appear to delete the files, but often leaves them where they were, hidden from view. So most data recovery programs, I'm talking about the basic data recovery programs can actually recover these hidden files. Why? When you empty files from the trash or recycle bin, the name, the file name or the reference to the deleted file is erased, right? So consequently, the computer can no longer see the file. And that means that the space the file took up on the laptop or PC is no longer allocated to that file. But the file, believe it or not, is still in the hard drive and it will, it will remain there until its location is given up by a new file to be stored in that exact location. In other words, you know, if you don't delete anything else, your recently deleted file will be hidden. So data recovery software can rebuild that file header, which makes it very possible for the computer to see the file again, right? So if you don't delete your file completely, before actually selling or donating it, cyber criminals can run data recovery software to access your deleted file. Now, as a matter of fact, we all know you, for those who have seen, who watches a, a criminal series on TV, I mean, law enforcement agencies use data recovery software to access deleted files from confiscated computers. This is just something they uh, do very routinely. So if they can do it, you bet that the hackers and other cyber criminals can use the same tools too to commit identity theft. All right, I'll be right back right after this thing there. Anyway. Welcome back folks to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. We are still having a conversation around computer security tips and I'm sort of talking to you today about how to properly wipe your hard drive or do a factory reset. And if you love the clarity and, con and quality of all the content so far please consider subscribing to our channel and turn on the notification bell and uh, like this content share and comment below now before I, I move on let me quickly give a shout out to some of our most loyal fans I have B. Ken in Las Cruces New Mexico Jennifer West in Santa Ana Pueblo New Mexico and Hannah Scott in Mescalero New Mexico Hannah, Jennifer, and B, we really appreciate your help all the way from New Mexico. Thank you so much. The next thing you want to do is you want to use software to wipe your drive. You have sophisticated and affordable special software programs that you can use to erase permanently your hard drive. Once you do that, it's just completely impossible to get any data back. So if you can't get it back, nobody, else, no one else can, right? So you can't, you cannot even use data recovery software, DRS, to recover your files. So the thing here is that most programs will run a low-level format, and what what they do is they overwrite all the deleted files with zeros and other incomprehensible data. So once they do that. It is just impossible for any DRS program, any data recovery software program to recover the files. You can also use a file called DBAN. You can also use a program called DBAN, D-B-A-N. It's a free data destruction program that fully erases files on the hard drive. And by files, I'm talking about everything, everything. Installed programs, operating systems, personal systems, you name it. Right? So it's always effective to use a program to wipe your device. And the good thing here is that a lot of uh, products out there, some are free, some are, some are, you have to pay something. They offer something called proof of erasure, P-O-E. And proof of erasure is very important because at least you have peace of mind that whatever you ask the system to do has been done, right? And some, pro some software programs even give you info about what was done to the drive and its data. 
right? So this helps you a lot when you want to be a company laptop or PC. Now, this conversation is not, it's not just about personal PC. I mean, I know that PC means personal computer, but we're talking here about any device in general, any hard drive in general, whether it is companies, companies laptops or companies uh, computers or personal computers so you can use software to wipe your, your drive now if you don't want to do it you can also physically wipe your hard drive right let's say you just like listen i don't trust the software the data on my hardware on my hard drive was very important i just want to make sure that it's done it's gone it's deleted 100 percent then you know and you know you can physically wipe your hard drive you know f for instance you can remove the hard drive and take a rare earth magnet to it right you can also physically dismantle the hard drive with a screwdriver okay so a rare earth a rare earth magnet like neo Diamond magnet can be used to deform the metal plates in the hard disk right so this makes it unusable you can also, you know, as I said, take a screwdriver and dismantle the piece of the hard drive to make it useless. I would recommend the second option. So using a screwdriver to dismantle the pieces of the hard drive because um, those uh, rare, earth, rare earth magnets are powerful and they might cause physical harm if used incorrectly. Okay. Another thing you can do is to perform a new installation on the operating system right this is this is a great way to completely rewrite over the whole hard drive if you don't want to use software to wipe your hard drive or you don't want to physically wipe your hard drive you can perform a new installation of the operating system right so this gives you a clean installation of the original operating system that came with a computer this can be especially important as if you're giving the device to someone like a friend or a family member Right, so I've given you several, there are several ways of wiping your hard drive. And I've given you three here. You use software, you physically wipe it, or you perform a new installation of the operating system. I'll be right back, right after this, to not go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another uh, edition of Sweetie Key, where we're still continuing our conversation around um, wiping hard drive and uh, personal data security and all this kind of fun stuff. And I want to quickly give a shout out to Jamie Flores in Waterbury, Vermont, and Charlie's Road in Rutland, Vermont. Thank you so much, Jamie, Ashley, and Charlie, for your contribution. I really appreciate it. Now let's talk a little bit about the risk of not wiping your hard drive. Now you have to understand, as I said earlier, there you have a lot of uh, a lot of uh, uncertainty, a lot of mischief happening in the world right in the world right now, and we are moving into an era where the the line between the real world and the digital world digital world blurs, right? And cyber criminals are as active as ever, right? They value your personal data. I'm talking about your credit card information, your passwords, your social security number, your email address, your driver's license details, all of these things are valuable. Why? Because cyber criminals can sell them on the dark web, right? They can buy the info, they, they can launch cyber attacks. That, so if, if, if your data is sold to someone with uh, negative intention, that person can buy the info, right? And launch cyber attacks to commit other kinds of crimes like extortion, like identity thefts, right? Remember, they can open bank accounts in your name. They can take out loans and default on them, leaving you with the consequences, right? Leaving you holding the bags. They can purchase items with credit card information. So what I'm trying to say here is that online digital mischiefs can have real life co consequences, right? Remember that thieves can also look out for private and confidential information. I'm talking about, you know, private chat conversations, pictures, non-disclosure agreements, you know, other details you don't want, you want nobody to know about, right? So if your hard drive is not wiped clean, cyber criminals and hackers could retrieve this info to blackmail you forever. 
Now let's have a conversation a little bit about, let's have a small conversation about the types of data deletion, right? So, you know, as I said earlier, no matter what kind of data you, you have in your computer before you want to donate or recycle it, you want to play things safe, right? You can delete. We've already seen that just, just deleting files from like bringing, like moving the files into the recycle bin just doesn't cut it, right? The fact that the, the, you remove the files from the trash bin doesn't mean the file is gone from your device. It only means its location is available. All right, all right. Now, you, you have several ways to delete files. I've already mentioned the D-Band, right? So D-Band allows you to basically sell, like basically make the data impossible to recover. You can destroy the hard drive. You can also make the hard drive physically impossible to access the risk. Right? I've already said please do not use the rare air the rare earth magnet. This is not really helping you here. So you wanna go you wanna use software. So data deletion by software, data deletion through physical action, so you complete you, you you dismantle the hard drive physically and data deletion through a complete reinstallation all right so this is it folks i hope this was helpful let me quickly recap here so today i talked about a lot of stuff and i talked about how to organize your hard drive data how to back up your hard drive data i told you why it's not enough to simply delete files from your computer how to use software to wipe your drive physically wipe your hard drive perform a new installation of the operating system. I also had a conversation with you around the risks of not wiping your hard drive and the types of data deletion. All right, I will see you next time. And until then, stay in the room. Bye.